Today is going to be pretty neat. Um, it's going to be a tutorial on how to create these little button things that I did on my banner here on YouTube. It's pretty easy. It should take a few minutes. So let's get this tutorial on the road. Um, I never used GIMP, but um, if you know the similarities that um, and the method that I'm going to be doing today, well, you probably can do the same thing using that program as well. Uh, today we're going to be using Photoshop CS5, but it doesn't matter if you use Photoshop CS4 as well, or CS at that. Um, I think you can do this with pretty much all of them, but the method I'm using today is going to be a bit easier. So let's open up another work area. I'm going to leave it at that. Let me see if I can make the background. Uh, where, where the heck is that? Transparent. I want to make it transparent. Oh, right, 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 here we go. Make it transparent. There we go. We have something that's transparent. And we're going to pick a color. Going to pick anything random. Going to grab the rounded rectangle tool. It was already selected for me. So, yay. And we're going to just place a rectangle down. Just like that. Mm. then now what we're going to do is we can do another we can do we can do a number of things right now we can get the text in there um where's the freaking text oh there it is i see it let's type something uh oh, it's the same color hold on let's see if it works now okay yeah there we go Now let's grab the V tool. Oh, wait, never mind. I can't use the V tool while I have the text, so I forgot. Mm -mm -mm. So let's move that down a little. Now let's turn this into the transfer tool. Oh, that's not going to work. Hold on. So let's grab, so let's make this a little bit bigger. <clears throat> Going to try and minimize the typos. I notice I do a typo sometimes. People probably think I'm like some type of retard or something because I do typos, but. So yeah, let's try and get this text just a little bit bigger. So you see how it's um it, it met its limit. We want to type it in now. Something. Let's try 100. Yeah, that's good. I like that. So I'm gonna grab this tool one more time and let me deselect this layer, I believe. Or there we go. And we're gonna lock this layer. Let's deselect it one more time. And we're going to worry about this main layer right here, the color layer. So let me name it that. So you know what I'm talking about. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of manipulating with this layer using the FX, um, I guess, panel. So you want to double click on this layer. And it should bring up the layer style pa um, panel. But um, I think it's also called like an effects layer or something. But oh well, we're going to call it that for, for right now. And we're going to, we're going to want to go to Inner Shadow. Come right here. And you want to put it to distant and your size. So it can get that soft look to it like that. And you want to change this. I don't know if you can see this, but this circle thing right here, you want to make it go straight up just like that. It should be even-ish. Let's see if we can make that size distance a little bit thicker. Yeah, there we go. If you want, you can make a stroke. That's the outlining of it. My stroke on YouTube is white. So you want to change that to white. You want to come right here to color and change it to white. Alter the size of it. There you go. 
so yeah that's it right there for the base now to put a glare on top of it you know that shiny looking thing uh we're gonna make another glare and we're gonna grab the pen tool gonna zoom in here oops not that far close the layers tab there gonna place the point right here right here see that's why I didn't want to zoom in too far but let's just see if this is where we want it yeah that's pretty much it now let's zoom out a little bit more so we don't get that movement so I'm going to get rid of that anchor So we're going to do this and come over here, place the point right here. And if you don't know how to use the pen tool, I have like a few, I have a number of videos actually on how to use the pen tool. So go check those out if you, if you're not sure on how to do this. Um, it's, it's pretty, it's a pretty easy tutorial actually. So you don't have to worry. Um, you place another point over here trying to keep it all in line here come right here and I noticed on my channel I know some people probably notice I, I do a number of typos sometimes um, it, I actually do typos when I'm trying to multitask a lot because if you're ever typing or if someone ever like multitask and type really fast oh yeah I probably don't even notice them at first until I like read over it again or something because I, I do like a ton of things at the same time so um yeah let's just fill this path in we have the white color make sure you have a white color selected down there your four color right here it's the white color uh, and we're going to go to layers and on this on the layer with the with the pen tool on top you want to double click and set the opacity down a little it's right here it's the main thing that you go to Set the opacity down to there. That's okay. Now I'm going to delete that little path around it. And there you go. You made a button and it took about a few minutes. It could take less than that if you know how to use Photoshop or GIMP, I believe. Well, I never use GIMP, but um, it should be easy to you as well. And now all you have to do is export this out as a PNG file um, because those don't have the background to them. And then you bring it over to whatever you were fixing on and put it in there, I guess. So, yeah, if you, like, see something like a typo or something, don't be afraid to tell me. I mean, even if it's, like, a super obvious typo, like, I misspelled. Well, I didn't misspell. I, I guess I hit T again and right here, and it was, like, we did the pasit. So, yeah, um, see you guys later. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Um, don't be afraid to tell people about typos, and if you see one. Uh, tell me about it. Yep. See you later. Definitely you go. Peace. Hey man, go check out DevinTheGeek.Weebly.com. I click here for a very special message. Peace out. One love.